All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about images and frames tags. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to hit con I want to go into Sublime, where we left off. I'm going to hit Control N, Control S, and I'm going to call this images and frames. HTML, and I'm going to type in our the code that we learned from the first course. So we're going to do doc type HTML. We're going to type in HTML. Whoop, I didn't want to do that. Nope, I didn't want to do that either. Okay, so let's do uh, HTML and then we're going to do a head tag. Because I want you to practice doing this because this is a good way to learn coding. Okay, so let's do title, and we're going to hit return. We're going to do the body tag, and I'll hit return. Okay, so now we have everything. We have the doc type, HTML, the HTML tag, the head tag, the title tag, and the body tag. Okay, so now we can go in. Let's go to line 8, and I'm going to type in iframe. Okay, so let's comment this out first. So we're going to do this is an iframe tag. Okay, so now we're going to type in iframe. Okay, and we're going to do src equals https www.google.com. Okay, then we're going to close the iframe. And now let's right click and open in the browser. And I don't see anything. And why do you think that is? I'll give you the answer. So the reason why that's not working is you need to give the iframe some attributes. So we're going to give it a width and a height. So let's go with, let's go in here again, and we're going to do a width. Okay, so we're going to type in width. Let's do 100%. And we're going to do a height of 500 pixels. Okay, so let's save that. Right click, open in the browser. And you can see It's still not biting. Okay, so let me close that for a second. And let's just do, I'll tell you what here. Let's do forms.html. Okay, I'm going to right click, open in the browser. There you go. Now it works. Got something to cooperate. So you see what it did here. It loaded the page, and this was the frames, the frames, the, the forms.html. I just grabbed this right here. Grab that open in the browser and you can see that it's displaying it correctly. Now what we can do, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to add to the height and we're going to make it 700 pixels. I'm going to save it, right click, open in the browser and now it fits in the iframe. Now what you can do is you can we can customize this a little bit so let's do 90 percent just to see what it does. I'm going to right click, open in the browser and there you go. So using the iframe has its benefits. You can do a lot of things with it and um, it's used quite a bit in a lot of the different situations. None of which that I'm going to point out but I'll just tell you that you'll eventually run into this tag so it's a good thing to know and have a basic understanding of. Okay. So now the next uh, tag that we're going to work with is the image tag. We uh, worked with this at the beginning of the course, so let's just do it again and see if we remember. This is the image tag, okay? So we're going to do img source equals, and we're going to go to, um, in fact, let's go to the index real quick, and I'm going to grab the same 
picture that we grabbed before. So this is the logo that I have from my website. So let me paste that in. I'm going to right click, open in the browser, and there it is. Okay. So let's do one more thing here so we can see it. I'm going to add some CSS. to my page here. So let's do image, background, black. Let's right click, open in the browser. And now you can see the image. Beautiful. All right. So we've done the frame, iframe tag, the image tag. Next up, we're going to do the map tag. Okay, so let's go to our trusty resource here. Uh, we're going to go to Google. Let's do a new window. I'm going to type in w3schools.com. We're going to go to HTML, learn HTML. Go to the bottom here. We're going to go to tag list by category. And we're going to go to images. So we're going to go to map right here. I'm going to right click, open in a new link. Let's try it for ourselves. Click on the sun or Okay. So let's copy this. Aha. Uh -huh. So when you click on Aha, uh -huh, I see exactly what it's doing. So when you click here, this is the sun. Venus is right here. Mercury is right there. So what it's doing is it's giving you the ability to create um, shapes and other things. So let's play with this a little bit. So the planet's not GIF. Okay. So let's grab this image. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to right click, copy the image address. I'm going to go back to Sublime, and I'm going to type in, this is the map tag. Okay, so let's paste that in just so we have it, and then we're going to do image, source, and we're going to paste it in there. I'm going to save that. I'm going to delete this. Okay, now we're going to go back to the editor, and we're going to copy all this. Okay, and we're going to edit this. But for right now, I just want to look at this. Okay, so below this, we're going to paste that in. We're going to right-click, open that in the browser. And it will do the same exact... Okay, so the map name equals planet map. So let's open that in the browser. And there you go. There you see it. So it didn't do what we wanted. But what I'm going to do is we're going to come back to this tag. Because I want to make a separate um, section just for this tag because this has got a lot of uh, cool features in it and I want to build out a custom map for you to play with okay so let's go to the next tag um, I was gonna do area but that's also gonna be part of this so we're gonna do that in another video so now we're gonna look at canvas so let's go up here click on canvas and let's see what we can do in there, because this is more advanced HTML, all this is. So what this is doing is it's giving you the ability to create a canvas. So let's do 180, just so I can show you what it's doing. There you go. So it's 
let's do 10 here okay so this right here is moving the margin left from the left it's moving to the right this one let's put 10 in there and see where that goes is the top so this is the left that's the top and if I edit this that's the height so this is the width that's the height this is the color so let's do tomato okay very cool so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into sublime and we're gonna build this out so let's let's delete the map for now and let's make another comment let's comment this out this is the canvas tag okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a similar setup to what you just saw there because that's really cool I really like it so what we're gonna do we're gonna do canvas ID equals my canvas okay and we're gonna close that let's close that okay and then below that we're gonna do a script tag okay so we're gonna type in some JavaScript here I'm gonna teach you a little JavaScript not too much so a variable the variable is going to be canvas it's going to be equal to document dot get element by ID and the ID of the element is my canvas so let's right click and grab that and we're going to paste that in here okay we'll close this variable ctx equals canvas dot get contacts equals 2d we'll close this now we're going to do ctx dot fill style equals navy okay so we're going to change the color to navy then we're going to do ctx dot fill rectangle or rect is going to be this and this is going to be the properties of the rectangle so you're going to see when we do if we do zero that's zero from the left so we're going to do 10 from the left 10 from the top and we're going to do a width of 200 and we're going to do a height of 200 okay so now when we render this let's right click and open in the browser okay let's do this let's copy this so I'm gonna right click and copy I'm gonna hit control N uh, I'm gonna con control S canvas dot HTML and we're going to hit HTML and type in HTML and then hit tab for a shortcut to make your boilerplate okay and then I'm going to go to line 8 and I'm going to paste in our code I'm going to right click and open that in the browser there we go so now it's showing our code and what I want to do is I'm going to not minimize this but I want to bring it over here so that we can see both windows so I'm going to bring this down just a hair just like that then I'm going to bring this right here okay so you can see exactly what we're doing okay now let me bring this down there you go now what I'm going to do is if I if I make this 400 and I save this and I come into the browser here and I right and I right click I don't need to right click I just refresh it adds 200 pixels to the width if I want to move this over to the to the right I type in 50 and I save this and then I come in here and right click and hit reload it's gonna move it over but it's also gonna take away some of my width it shouldn't let me just make sure if it did that nope 
Yep, it did. So when you when you edit this, this is taking away some of the width. So let's do 300 there and let's see what that does. Okay, how about 600 here? Okay. So, that's the canvas tag. Okay, so we covered the image tag, we covered the iframe and the canvas tag, and in the next video, we're going to cover the um, SVG, picture, figure, and fig caption tags, and then in the video after that, we're going to cover the map and area tag. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.